three. That's the plan, guys. I don't know. Wednesday nights at eight. <laughs> eight, seven central on MTV. Boom. Yeah. There's a plug. What Check it you? out. Um, MTV or CBS? MTV. Wait, wait, what? For what? Um, like which challenge did you enjoy more? Oh, I mean, they're just, they're different. Like the thing about, uh, CBS was cool. Cause it was like, first it was kind of everybody's rookies and we have, um, but everyone's gamers, like hardcore gamers. Whereas like MTV, it doesn't usually have a lot of gamers. So, and that was true in our season as well. But then of course I had a bunch of new people still. So I didn't even get like challenge vets that like really know stuff. So, um, the uh, experience wise um you know what we're on challenge we just said challenge 11 or 12 in this last episode and we only had 10 or like nine or 10 challenges in usa so like you know i like playing more challenges how how is that it just films for longer it is longer yeah, MTV is longer and like, and it's just the format and players. Uh, Magic, it literally depends on which thing. Like, if if you give me an elimination, then I'll then I'll tell you the order of those three. What do they want? <laughs> Not someone else hopping in saying Chris Evans. <laughs> no, no, no. They did that to me too. They did that to me too. He will find uh, someone to corroborate the lie. Don't believe it. Don't believe thanks it. Thanks, Xavier Leos. Queen, Severus. Thanks for sharing the live. Sorry, guys, I missed some people. Sarah Seeger. Uh, Is this what I should be doing? Like, should I be thanking people in here for doing things? I mean, it doesn't hurt to appreciate people, but <laughs> um, this is new, y'all. Y'all know I'm so new to this. Yeah. Wait, man, somebody said, I'm here to say, I actually won't say you talk too much. I'm sorry. And send a heart emoji. Aww. Thanks. Thanks, Amanda. No, Excited to see you in Indy. You need to pull up and say it to his face in person. Because now you have a joke. Now we will have that joke. It's an inside joke. Bradley. Um, Bradley, not doing what to say there? All right, Kale says I tagged you in the videos of Chris Evans. All right, Kale, we better see it. I need to see this. Look at Wait, Mel, what did you say about bananas? You said bananas, maybe. And what about Kesa? Um, how's the packing going? Well, I have to do my laundry first. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And you know how much so? I. I hate this dryer. It takes so long. What'd you say? Yeah, that is insane. That dryer is ridiculous. It's the worst. <laughs> it is the worst. I, I, I hate this apartment building with everything in my spirit. I cannot wait to leave. The building manager gets on my last nerve. They have not fixed so many things in this place. I am so like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go overseas and come back and get my shit and leave. Like I, I'm tired. I'm so tired of being here. <laughs> um, oh, listen to these lines. Beyonce and the Obamas watch Big Brother. I know this for a fact. Line number one. <laughs> oh, man. I know. I, I know. I felt, what's it called? Um, I was pretty sad. I, I definitely wondered. I was like, do you think the cookout, somebody found out about us and told yeah. the Obamas? Mm. That was our hope. That was our mm. secret hope. That's that a big one. Definitely I was not that. true. But you gotta just imagine, you know? I could see it, it's, that. it was possible. It was possible, you know? Maybe well, it was... I was not, I only knew about the cookout because yeah. like black Twitter penetrated yeah. my. That's why I said it, maybe. So it could... wait, oh wait, wait. Did you like the Barbie movie? Me? Yes. Yeah, who else are you talking to? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yes. No, I, was, I sorry. Obama just reminded me people a lot of there's a lot of controversy. People were saying because uh, Brock left Barbie off his favorite movies oh. of the year list. Um, was Oppenheimer on it? <laughs> yes, Oppenheimer was on it. Oh, OK, then I see why people are like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think just everyone associates them. No, Barbie's super fun. I don't know. Like, I will rewatch it. I enjoyed it. I feel like. 
I remember laughing a lot. I really liked it. I, th I think you really liked it. And the, uh, I think everyone really liked it. And I, but I think that I need to rewatch it because it, it, it's something has to survive the rewatch, you know, to really be, um, quality. It was like fun to watch in the theater. Very fun. funny. Very funny. I know that. Yeah. I saw this really um, funny tweet that was like the biggest twist of Barbie was that Barbie's mom is a short Jewish woman and that made me giggle. <laughs> Wait, Barbie's mom was a short Jewish woman? You're the creator of Barbie. Oh yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, that was a weird scene. You know what? That scene actually keeps it out of my favorite movies too. I, I will support that. I now hate that I think it. about it. I will say that. Yeah, it's a very weird. It was just so dramatic. Moment. It was very like it just hit you over the head. But this is feminism. We are feminists, and I feel like you don't have to do that. Okay, but what did help me? Oh, what's up, Greg? Welcome back. Um, oh, Kale. What did help me? Video. Let's see, Kale. Let's see. You were saying? Oh, um, somebody said that. Like, I don't know if you told me or somebody told me that. What's it called? Uh. What's his name? Um, the scene that shows like the families randomly was like all staff families and like with their daughters. So I thought that was kind of like okay, kind of made it more sweet. That does nothing for me personally, and also like that's a tidbit you have to learn after the movie. You know, it wasn't good. Oh, I was supposed to be folding my laundry. Um, yeah, fold your laundry. I mean, this is just like, shut up. <laughs> I actually did a laundry live the other day. Oh, really? Let's wait. How how did we like that fold, everybody? Well, I redid it because it was bad. So, <laughs> did you did you have something that you wanted to say? Was it a you comment that you wanted to make, and you're just kicking it over to your trusty? Hey, I was just letting people see what's in the box. Did you fold towels? Wait. Your towels? I, was, uh, I don't remember. What's up, Chris? Um, you don't do the trifold. Uh, I don't do the trifold on thanks, my Kaylee. towels or my washcloths. But I do all my big towels. Y'all watch me do this on the TV show. Wait, Mel, what did you see? I missed it. Now I want to know. Bradley, I appreciate you. I didn't see Xavier pick a gift when he lost in Reindeer Games. Yeah, nobody that was in the finals picked a gift. So Frankie didn't pick a gift, X didn't pick a gift, and then I didn't pick a gift, but I did get a second place prize. And now that I'm thinking about it, nobody, um, there wasn't a, like a placement prize after second place, which is crazy. Reed says, marry me. Can you afford an eight carat diamond ring? Okay. That is the requirement. What's the requirement? If you guys haven't heard. Some people need to hear that. Hear what, Betty? Trying to catch up on messages I missed. Oh, let's see if you saw the. Was there a tweet mm -hmm. that replied then proving that Chris Evans watched the Iliad and the Odyssey, as I call it? Oh, please. Taylor, can we get some Nikki going, or is this your vibe now? This, this is the vibe, y'all. This is the vibe. We're not. They like your music over here. We got compliments over here for your music. Oh, good. As it should be, because playlist is fire. And if you want to follow it, you go to my Spotify page, which I made public. It is the Maxwell mix. Obama's list is so good. I need to go listen to it. I'm sure someone already made a playlist out of it, but I need to go actually play it. 
What time is it over there? I don't even know what time it is here. Um, it is one forty-six yeah. over there. Oh, I thought you were gonna say over there. I can handle one forty-six. I also just crush an energy drink, so I'm. That's. I'm in it for the night. Did you get close to anyone from Reindeer Games? Somebody asked. I was already tight with Danielle and X. Um, Frankie and I had been like building a friendship. Um, and Frankie and I, I would say like as far as forming new bonds, Frankie and I, oh, Josh, duh. Like Josh and I formed probably the closest new friendship out of that experience. And then Frankie right after him. Frankie and I were stupid the whole time. Like Frankie and I would play music and dance while everyone was like crying over their food or something. Everybody kind of cracked really early in the game and they were all like, oh my God, like I need to call my family. And Frankie and I were like, we're good over here. Does that make us bad people? Cause we don't need to talk to people. Um, so Frankie was probably like mentally in the same headspace as me, but Josh and I had like the fastest new friendship out of everybody. But I like everybody else. And it was cool to hang out with Brittany and Nicole for so long. And like, there's just so few opportunities that you get to play the game with Big Brother Legends. So like, it was it was really, really cool. Kyle, did I tell you what X said about what would get him to go back to play? No, what did he say? He said, someone asked him on a, like a question box on Instagram. They said, um, would you play reindeer games again? And he said he would go back as a mercenary. Like, if that would <laughs> I That would be pretty funny. I would love to do that. That, I would I don't do know if that works in the game format, though. I don't know either. Unless, but you, unless it's mercenaries that take the spot. It could change year to year, or it could change episode to episode. Who knows? But, like, if they call me and they were like, Taylor, we want you to be a mercenary, or I don't know, a, a jingle jangle jump scare. <laughs> They'd have some stupid name like that. I would do that. <laughs> yada yada. They think awesome. there will be one every year now. Ooh, I just stole one of your one of your livers. Ada? Yeah. Oh, is that Ada? Well, then why is yeah, why is well, that's okay. yada yada? I feel like I should rhyme with the yada yada. I think you are correct. Actually, now that, hold on, I wasn't reading it. I know that we. Well, here's the thing. In all fairness, I do have. And Ada and Yada Ada. So it probably is Ada and I'm mixing it up and that's my bad, Ada, if if that is the case. Oh, she's on my team now. That's my girl now. Um <laughs> uh, <laughs> Google it. Wait, what are we Googling? I miss you. Kimmy, thank you. Yeah, my additional video is on YouTube. For Big Brother? Yeah. I need to see this. I've never seen that. I need to see this. What were we talking about? Um, honestly, I don't remember. It was, it was, uh, I mean, I remember, but it's not like it's, it's. I was talking about me. You should do a reaction. Why I want to play the game? You should totally a do reaction a video. Yeah, you should watch it and react to your own like my first reality TV show audition or like. <coughs> Well, I'll have to give it more time before I react to it, I feel like. If I just react to it now. I don't know. I've wanted to do a reaction video to my pageant competition clips. But I don't know. It's very niche. Yeah, you should. I think you definitely should. I think that'd be wonderful. LPD I feel like you're, you actually, and also you have really good commentary on things. So I feel like that would be really good um, for multiple reasons. That's a very kind way of saying I'm extremely critical. 
No, it was a kind way of saying I think that you do good commentary, and you should just take statements sometimes without adding your own meaning to them. I told my chat that I'm um, like extremely hypercritical, and we see it coming out. We see it all over now. Now, someone said, "Wow, yeah, a comment I mean. violent guys." We can't be shocked, please. It's so wild. I mean, but it's like, I think it's also more proof, you know, people will see what they want to see because it's just like most people that know me know that, like, I, I tend to speak more in compliments than, than, than a lot of things. Um, but in genuine compliments, to be clear. But I mean, I also just speak things, you know, pretty. Uh, objectively a lot too so I think that like that can come off as critique sometimes but you know yeah um, usually rap and kindness do you ever really defend or explain um the way that you just process and explain things differently because of your diagnosis diagnoses yeah or is it I mean huh is it too much work to do that, maybe? Like, I would imagine that would be exhausting. It depends. I mean, it depends on the, yeah, yeah, it just depends on the format and the place. Like, you know, we'll talk about things here for sure. Um, I mean, it's like, uh, what was it? The, uh, what's it called? Um, I'm trying to think. I just had actually something recently. What was that? Oh man, well, I was like, oh, what an interesting experience. Um, in person or online? In person. I like said something and I just was like, well, wait, why would that? Oh, you know what it was? Um, uh, I was talking to, uh, I was talking to uh, Michelle. And I was telling her about, and we were talking about the challenge and stuff. And she was like, oh, it seemed like you were like talking shit about me, like saying like that, you know, somebody can beat that. Like my, my friends, my girls could beat her. And I was just like, no, I mean, you literally said that you don't run. The two girls that I'm connected with do run. So, and everyone says that the final has mostly running. So I, no, like I was just saying that more like a statement. Like, why would that, like, why would saying a statement, just like, if you, as I told her, I was like, and when we got connect, connected on it, we were talking about it, and she was like, oh, okay, like, because I was like, yeah, like, if you said, if the challenge was a climbing competition at the end, and you're like, well, I know Jay can beat Kylan, I'm like, hell yeah, Jay can beat me at, like, a climbing competition, he's like a near professional rock climber, like, uh, yeah, that does, that's not, and it didn't, and it was just an interesting thing, where she was just like, oh. Yeah, that makes sense. And I was like, like, yeah, like, like, and it wasn't even like something that I said, because tone and inflections and all that can matter for sure. But it wasn't even one of those scenarios when we were talking about it, the thing we were talking about. So it was, um, Wait, the chat's saying Jay needs to go. <laughs> yeah, is there, oh, Jay or Michelle need to go. Hey, game wise, you guys are not wrong at all. Um, they need to go for sure. Um, yes, uh, the, what's it called? Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think, I guess the positive, like for me, I probably spend less time explaining that about myself than I do probably telling other people about like having compassion for someone else that they're probably misunderstanding, you know? I feel like I'm always talking to friends that are just, like, dealing with, uh, they're dealing with, like, oh, thanks, Shia. That was very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I think everything is about understanding, you know? And just compassion and, and all that. So it's just, like, uh, I don't know. I think that, oh, that's what I'm saying. Is that, like, I remember even after my season, like it, this, the best advice I was like, you know, it, it's much harder to tell people about who you are than it is to show them. So it's just like, just keep living, being you, talking to people, um, you know, in one, one conversations and in different environments and spaces. And it just is pretty consistent that like, 
I have a lot of people that <laughs> as recently as two minutes ago in this video of someone coming in and this comment of somebody coming in and just being like, Hey, like, you know what? I misjudge you. And like, you do seem nice or decent or whatever. And it's just like, I mean, I think that a, a lot, uh, a lot, a lot yeah. of people, most people at the core, I think, are, but, you know, just there's varying things, so. I think there's also. Anyways, thanks like, for coming to my kindness TED Talk. There's also kind of, that was a TED Talk for sure, <laughs> but it's how you operate. It's how you operate. Um, I also think there's, I don't want to call it confirmation bias necessarily. I think that's the wrong way to look at it, but there's the idea that when you watch someone for so long on live feeds, um, and then the way that they present themselves on social media afterwards, like if it is, I understand the skepticism of somebody being so positive and kind all the time on social media when you watch them on a live feed, um, maybe behaving in a way that you don't think is kind or positive or anything like that. So like I, I understand the skepticism. That doesn't mean I agree with it, but I can see where people would be like, this is either too good to be true, or this is an act, or like, you understand the parasocial relationship people get when they watch you on a live feed. Like they fully believe that they know who you are at your core. And I think as far as it went from my experience, I think that was the case, but I think it's just, it's, mm, might not have been the case for a lot of other people. Mm, some other people. I mean, I, I feel like it is, it's also mixed because these shows are competitive. So inherently like you are <laughs> trying to villainize people who are not your champion. Like if you don't want them to win and, or they act against the person who you want to win. It's just like we see in politics all the time. If someone says something, two people can do or say the same exact thing and, and we're going to justify it for one and not for the other and villainize it to the other just because that's easier for us to hold on to our opinions that way. So it's just like, I, I feel like these games add that other layer on top of it that just is like automatically pitting to get, pitting people against each other or against, you know, someone. And for me, it's like, you know, I've never, the, the, the explanation also I heard was just like, you know, I've, I've never taken the time to go on social media in comments or Twitter or whatever. And like, you know, try and say something bad about somebody. And it's just like, I don't even know the space I'd have to be in to, to do that. Like, <laughs> um, I obviously go on Twitter for some billion dollar corporations because that's just the only place I can vent to them. I can't vent anywhere else. But as far as like people, it's just like, it's like casting stones, you know? It's just like, who's casting stones? Like, I lo actually Tiffany had a great line. She said, you know, I've, I've forgiven worse and I've, been forgiven for worse than whatever somebody's talking about and i think about that phrase a lot and just like i think that uh it's just like we all have that capacity and so i don't know i just i just have a lot of compassion for people that have that that much sadness or hurt or vitriol or whatever in them to go and do that it's like man like i'm not gonna feel as bad about that comment as i am like heartfelt for like wow, like, like, I wish that we could put you in a situation where you didn't even have time for that, where you just enjoy your life. I yeah, think that more people enjoying their life, and that's not like backhand, it's like they're pitiful or I pity them, like that, it's literally just like, selfishly, I think that more people that are happier are going to make my experience in life better and the people around them, and that can only lead to good things. Yeah, look, I don't think you're entirely wrong with that. I just also know that there are plenty of people who... Uh, say one thing and do another and I hope that I'm never in a position where I feel like it is where I'm comfortable enough or okay enough to talk poorly about a specific other person in the reality community like that's just not yeah I I've had that done enough about me and I hope I never ever do that to somebody else I can't but imagine I mean, plenty of I don't have to do that no but I mean also plenty of people who say one thing and do another is it's not plenty of people, it's all people, all to some people. degree, <laughs> like, to some degree, uh, yeah, we just, we I just rationalize it. it when we do it, because we have a reason to do it. They did it because they're bad. Um, so it's just like, you know, yeah. just is, but I get, I get, I get what I mean, but somebody here asked about Nicole. I think they said, what do, do we like Nicole and Brittany as players? I don't know Brittany. Brittany's obviously.
pretty hilarious. Nicole um, is, uh, I mean, her skill in the game is undeniable. So the record speaks for itself. That is I like them both. Use. I like them both a lot. Like they're like I think they're both great players. I think Brittany was really showcasing a lot of strengths that went against my direct weaknesses. Um, so I think Brittany was really underestimated by a lot of people. Um, <laughs> Not you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Now you've taken the opportunity to <laughs> to back your decision making. <laughs> oh, shut the hell up! <laughs> Absolutely. Find a way to slide it in there. It's like, all right, all right. I want to find my decision every time. Every time. I stand by it. <laughs> I'm going to stand by it. Um, no, I think that most no, people make both, the decisions both that they feel best. Player, considering the challenges that we had in the game, like I think they're both really, really strong players. So, I I like them both as people. I like them both as players. Can you say hi, Sophia? Hi, Sophia. Marry me, I can afford the ring. Can you? Can you? Where on the hand is ugly, so it's right, it's the tip of the thumb. So I live like here, <laughs> and Nicole lives here. And X used to live like over here-ish. And Dan is not from me either. Dan what? Dan is not too far from me. I actually think, I don't think I ever told you this, maybe I did. I think Dan, it is highly possible that Dan might have taught my distant cousins in high school. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? Interesting. Yeah, he teaches at the school that my my grandma's brother's sons went to. Oh. Who is a better Big Brother player, Kyland or Taylor? <laughs> well, Taylor won, guys. So what are you gonna say? Did like, what, what what can we say other than that? You won more comps than me, but I still beat your ass. And yeah, you won the game. <laughs> you won VCOM. You know, it'd be a crazy, um, oh my God, if you and me were a final two giving speeches. <laughs> well, I that think that's what everyone knows. I actually can give really good, concise speeches when I have time to plan them. <laughs> were you a speech and debate guy? Huh? So, were you what? a speech and debate in high school or something? Uh,. Mata you in. I mean, I did debate, didn't like it as much because, you know what's funny? I didn't like debate because debate is about sticking to one decision side, regardless of information, like whether or not you're right or wrong. And that just doesn't agree with me. So I'm just like, no, like I'm not gonna, like once we know this is wrong, like why, why would we not look towards compromise and persuasion and educating each other? And so that's what Mata Yuen is all about. Mata Yuen is all about like collaboration, and uh, more persuasion than just fighting, arguing. And so, um, uh, but we do a lot of speeches there, yeah. A couple of people saying you need a second chance in Big Brother. I think, would you rather do Reindeer Games or Big Brother? Ooh. Um, well, if I, had to, if I had to pick only between those two, I would say, and it was only one or the other, then I would honestly say Big Brother. I think it's just such a fascinating game. Keep talking. You're good at that. Yeah, no, that's it. I just think it's a fascinating game. I think the... Um, there's just nothing like it. Like, yeah, it's the most traumatic, emotionally draining game, but it's also like just so unique. Like nothing else touches Big Brother. So, um, I don't know. We never really got to see Corey speeches. We never got to see my speeches either. So who knows? Last five hours. Oh my gosh! You're still on that road trip. Dang. Um, twenty five. Uh, what happened? Are you okay? Oh, definitely. Ooh, that's an interesting question that I hadn't thought about, but uh, the challenge, actually. Which is interesting because people ask me what's my favorite, I don't compare them. I say like it's ice cream and pizza, like they're different. But there's something about the competition element <clears throat> that I think excites me. Um, thank you, Mel. Yeah. All right, well, this is interesting. Somebody, which I hadn't been asked before, actually. Unique question. Shout out 
New question. Uh, yeah, shout out user 9057315167967. Um, they said, would you rather, because I get asked all the time, like, oh, do you like Big Brother more or the challenge more? I always say that, like, yes, the challenge is more fun, but Big Brother is more complex, and I love the complexity of it. So, like, I don't say one's better than the other. I say they're like pizza and ice cream. They're just two things that, like, I love that are very different. So I wouldn't say pizza's better than ice cream or whatever. But then somebody said... Would you rather win Big Brother or the challenge? And I was like, oh, Same. I think honestly, I, I like, I think I'd rather win the challenge because there's like, <sighs> I don't know though. I love Big Brother. Like, Big Brother has a more, it's less seasoned, so it's a little bit more of an exclusive group of winners. Um, so if we're talking, yeah, but just which trophy are there? <sighs> I don't, I kind of oh, like yeah. the challenge because I like the skill sets. So I'm going to just no, point out said which one's more money. Money. And we know huh. Casey wants both, but I wonder, like... Ooh, yeah, true. Yeah, I wonder what she would say. Like, which one are yeah. you more proud to have won? And I kind of feel like she would say the challenge. Well, I'm like... I'd be curious, well, though, because I know that she loves... bigger, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, not if you're Ashley Mitchell. I would 100% do what she would have done, too. Here's <laughs> another thing I got to say. I got to talk to Tori about this, too, because this whole... We won in the end, and now we're gonna divide the check amongst some people. They're not dividing it like evenly. Not They're giving a very small evenly. portion. Uh uh, no, because you gotta pay taxes on that. I'm already splitting it with my partner. Now I'm gonna give y'all some. We all got paid to show up. We all got paid to show up. I could mm -mm, no, you can't. That's why I could not do one of these shows. I don't think that that is wrong of you to feel that way. I think that I just it's it's not. I don't know. I just don't. I, I, I like that they do it, and I'm, and I would definitely. It, it makes it's hard not to. I feel like when I see them do it. You're better than me. You're better no, than me. It's not better. That's what I said. It's not better. It's not a hierarchy thing. It's just like. Oh, I don't know. I could never. And I'll also preference. say, like, I got to the end with a partner, and they said you could either take all the money or split it. I'm taking the whole check. I'm taking the whole. Uh, check. That's but I feel like that statement is so bold and brash without taking context. Like who knows the context that gets you from where you're at right now to that moment. And to mm -hmm. suggest that like you would feel the exact same, that feels a little bit, uh, not like that doesn't feel very likely. I think that there are scenarios where you would feel the exact same, but just to if say were, blanket actually, statement across the board, this is what I would I always do. Situation, I would 100% take in the money. Yeah, actually, situation 100%. I and agree. Bananas. bananas too. Bananas yeah. got there and said, you know what? I'm going to take it. That's, but that's what I said. It's all the context of those relationships. So, like, that's what I'm agreeing see, with. There's, I could see, like, if it were. Damn. Okay, now that I think about it. Yeah, okay. so many people. I can list yeah, off people, like, and you would be sharing it with all these people. Like, here's yeah. If it's someone, here's what I'll say. Because when I think about the challenge, I think about doing these things with people that I don't have strong relationships with. So, like, if I went in there and no shade, I ran a final with Tori, and we both got to the end. They were like, take the whole thing or split it. I'm taking the whole check. If I were there with like. Joseph or Michael or who else? X. Uh, it'd be a little more difficult. <laughs> it'd be a little more difficult. Oh my gosh. And I know every single one that would be like Taylor. Taylor. Taylor, I know you're thinking about it. I'd be like, no, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> you know I'm No, that's what I said. There's not that there's anything wrong with it, but I feel like they're like, she didn't say you. I know. Don't worry. We know this. <laughs> okay, well, Kyland. No. Um, <laughs> I'm messing with you. No, I know. But I'm the. Uh, existence. I don't. I don't know. If I. I feel like if it was CBS and it was you, Josh, Joseph, and Michael on the season, I'd be like, all right. This might pique my interest a bit. No, I get you. Um, what was it? The. I think that I feel like the part that we're missing though is just like what it feels like when you get to the. Uh, 
Like, even as you list Tori, like, I think right now, if you were handed the check and the question today is different than if you were handed it after you guys went through an experience together that bonded you and pushed you through it. Like, I don't know. I, 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 I'm, saying, I'm not saying it would change it, but I, because I just am leaving room because I don't know. There's room, but it's also like, all right, girl, you already won your challenge. <laughs> so you're going to call me tomorrow and be like, so what'd you say? <laughs> just, yeah, I mean, I guess I just don't see anything wrong with it. Sure. I just think that if you're split, like, okay, let's say the final prize is a million dollars, which they didn't even give you guys, which is yeah, correct. Like, Very different. Anyway, where are you guys at? Like, Three hundred fifty thousand dollars, something like that. And then, okay, let's say that it ended right now, and there's a winner. That money still gets taxed. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. That's y'all got me eating brain guts and spicy surprise for less than three hundred thousand dollars. I mean, Fear Factor, the grand prize is $50,000. Yeah, okay, and Fear Factor's off the air. <laughs> We're talking about today with the modern inflation, with current interest rates, okay? Like, that's... Yeah. That's crazy. So, I can't even imagine... Let's go back to a million. So, it's already a million. Now, I gotta split the million. So, now we're at $500,000. Now I personally have to get taxed on my five hundred thousand, which is probably going to be like no. They pre-tax. They gave the gifts pre-tax. Yeah, and all my big brother like chat the, had. No, I'm um, saying MTV. I'm saying they didn't get the. They weren't taxed on the money that they gave away. They had MTV write those checks. Well, I'm talking good. about Tori and and Casey. Oh. So when they okay. won the million, they had the show cut those checks directly. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. That's yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. I still yes, they're not gonna pay taxes on someone else's stuff. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Yeah, I agree. That would be crazy. So I'm glad they did it. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, Wait, this person said y'all are on TikTok asking for gifts. There's no way you don't steal the challenge money. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's uh, lots of confusion, but Kayla, uh, my until you text. send me that link, I'm not answering any of your questions. I can tell oh, you that, Kayla. I texted it to you, so you don't really have an excuse now. I watched it. It's pretty believable to me. Wait, what? Yeah. Hold on. I love the song. What did you watch? Check your text. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. That's all right, Kale. What do you need? Whatever you need, you get. Hey. So the dog's getting big. He is. He is getting big. I just saw. I was doing my recap. TikTok. No, you don't gotta answer questions. What's your, wait, Mel. Your brain. Are you being? Are you asking questions? I'm confused. What's wrong? Yeah. Said, how old is the dog? Seven months. My sweet boy Benji is seven months old. He is a toy golden doodle, toy golden doodle, and he's a good boy when he wants to be. Say hi. Well, no, don't stress yourself out with anything. Hey, hi, You're good. You're perfect. Mwah, that's my boy. I want to like. Uh. Every now and then I'm like, I'm a boy mom, but I, no, I could, no, I could not do that. It's so cringy and weird. You so couldn't cool. do what? I couldn't call myself a boy mom. That's, uh. Well, you're a dog mom. mom. I'm a dog mom. I am a dog mom. Yes. Oh, Kim, I want that. Um, closer by, it's like a, 
ah, it's like a unique name. <laughs> I'm glad, no. Go peel, go pele, G O A P E L E. Emberly, Emberlily, what's up? Yeah, boy moms wear white to their sons' weddings. That's exactly why I will not call myself a boy mom. <laughs> boy moms wear white to their. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? What does that statement mean? So. Uh, it's I'm genuinely like, curious. Call me, remember how they called me a guy's girl and how I'm not a girl's girl? Yes. Okay, so it's kind of along the lines of that. Like, you prioritize the relationship with the men in your life over the relationship with women in your life. So a lot of, like, boy moms will have what are called um, emotional incest relationships with their sons. So it's not just like Oh, being, I didn't know this. I've never oh, heard this. Oh yeah, it's not That's just like being a parent. It's like you are obsessively involved in your son's life to a point where you'll replace your healthy relationships or what should be healthy relationships in your life with your relationship with your son. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, what do you think about this? Oh my god. All right. Yo, I'm about what's lose, up, Jackie? I'm about to lose all my my fans and followers and all this stuff. No, they will not let you lose. Don't worry. No, no. Watch. Here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. Hi, Tiana. Um, Tiana says hi, Taylor and Kylan. So that was her. Wait, did you click it? No, I haven't clicked it yet. All right, people. This man wants to battle. There I say. No, no finish. Man. You no said you want to battle when you first got on this chat. Did I? I feel like that's a lie. You said, oh, he wants to battle. I was like, no, your people said that you wanted to battle, and that's why we're here. Is that? No, I feel like, no, they came here and said, Kylan is saying his chat wants to battle you. And I was like, well, I'll go no. on. We have all, I mean, actually, I guess we don't have the chat recorded, but no, that was definitely <laughs> not what was said. Somebody was like, oh, you see, they want to battle. I was like, well, if you go see that she wants to, Battle, then she can then tell her to invite us. Was that the only stipulation of you joining this? No. Okay. No, I was saying that, that, but that's what I thought they were saying in our chat. So that's why we asked them. Okay. All right. I'm gonna accept. Chat, it. I believe they said that. I'm gonna you accept. accept? It. I'm gonna accept, it, but I'm not doing the whole like give this. I'm not doing the whole energy thing. Okay. Energy yeah, I feel like. People that battle have just like so much high energy and so much like yeah, it's adrenaline from competition. <sighs> I'm gonna be the most passive battler ever, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna okay. lose, and then people will be like, "Oh, Taylor lost to Kyland." Woo do woo do woo. Mel, I don't yeah, think it's that because it's not like we're demanding over here. They said Casey threw a chair earlier. Casey threw a chair. <laughs> All right. No, do you feel we're demanding? Oh boy. Has Jordan. <laughs> Get it, boohoo, you too. Wait, you never accepted it. Okay, fine, I'll click it. Look at you pressuring me. No, I was just clarifying that you didn't. I'm messing with you. There you go. Not you letting him guess that you into battling. Y'all are funny. Oh my gosh. No, watch. Because you got a whole ass team. You have a t what are you talking about? You have like three times as many people over there. Um. Wait, what was weird on TikTok? Did it did it work? No. The map Let me show again. Is it popping up? Yeah. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, there you go. Jordan, who do you think you are? Wait, before this happens, tell us how to battle so we can make her win. Y'all, I don't know how this goes. All right, guys, if you're in Taylor's chat, click on there you the go. Uh, gifts. Click in the little gift box that you see in the bottom of the screen, and then click on gifts that you want to give her. And those points at the top where it has blue and red, those points, whoever has the most points at the end of that five minute timer win. Um, oh, thanks, Twan. Um, so. Oh my god, I almost put water on my laptop. Wait, who is doing that? Mel? Who is being rude? 
They said no. Nah, like, yo, let's go, Mel. Whoa. Okay, so, guys, okay. you guys can click on different things um, to give different gifts over there. Uh, Juan, what's up? Do likes count? That's a question. Yes, like. So, if you guys do like, so you guys have what? A couple hundred people in the chat. If everyone likes it, like, I think three times or double taps it each time it's three points, but it's not, but it's only one time per person. So if you have like 200 people in the chat, that's like 600 points if everybody likes it. So this is so beyond, <laughs> this is very over my head. Did you just send me something? Oh, Marcus, it's what's a... up? Appreciate oh, you. Um, wow. Linz, what's up? That was kind of you. Mel. Tiana, so nice. Tiana says Taylor won America's favorite player and Kylan didn't, so I think she has the bigger team. But I don't get on here every night True. talking about here's how you battle, here's how you win a battle, here's how Thanks, you Lizzie. Play. This man's on here like for hours every night. Yes, Kale. Battle after battle. Yes, and you know, I'm on here like I don't know how this works. <laughs> oh my gosh, Twan, thanks for the roses, guys. So make okay. sure everybody in both chats, make sure you're double tapping, running up the likes. Oh, we gotta yeah. get the likes because the likes will help uh us get the speed. Oh, look at this. This is a little small situation. This is cute. And yes, that is correct. Thanks for doing this. Casey was actually trying to get me to do this months ago. I saw her battling um, her fiance now, then girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And she was like, we got to get you in the battles. And I was like, I don't know what's happening here. Oh, yes. We got two X, guys. You guys, we got oh, two man. X. Oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. What's kettle kettlebell rule? So I said, Taylor, you're about to be the next Kylan and Jag. Welcome to the cringe. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. That, yeah. Jeez, a thousand. What? It's just funny. I don't know. Like I said, it's just wild. What I will say is but I think it's really interesting that like, there are very strong opinions in the Big Brother space on <laughs> the whole um, concept. Oh, wow. What is this? A little galaxy. Thank you. That was okay. fun. Okay. Um, I think it's very interesting how staunchly I can't Yo, think. Mel. Oh, Mel. Oh, wow. Wow. Mel. I people hate the battles and all that stuff, but like, I'll get on TikTok and just scroll and see people I've never heard of before in my life, and they have like a million, two million followers on here, and they're doing Karen. this stuff all the time. So I'm like, I mean, I, I think it's more than that. I think it's just the like I I, I think it just comes back to. <laughs> people, like this is this for me has been the most fun I've had on social media because it's like I get to engage with people in a way that I have never gotten to engage as far as like this format has been better than when I was on Instagram live better on anything else just because like the engagement and asking questions and connecting with other people has just been like really good so um, for me it's like that engagement with people I mean every day I talk to someone new that like has a kid with like autism that talks about like being inspired or I'm talking to people about Big Brother they're like thanks like there's people on Big Brother like they've been here for years or the challenge and they've never bothered to like pay attention to us or answer our questions or whatever and I'm like each one of those messages is worth like a thousand of a message of somebody that like wants to talk shit about like us being on the app um and doing battles and stuff it's just like yo like the amount of people in the chat like for us it's competitive too so it's like we get to actually compete in this space and for competitive people that's fun and so it's kind of give just them like dog. give them the dog <laughs> we focus on that they can snipe over there they can just snipe uh, didn't happen didn't happen oh my gosh well, shout out our mvps <laughs> Mel with MVP, Foster Karen, appreciate you, Twan the Scientist, Jackie, Marcus, Kim, and all of our tappers. All love. Say thank you. Shout out to Carol Davis for holding it down in Taylor Squad over there in Balka. Oh, I should thank people. Okay. Again, I'm so new to this. Um, how do you do this? Okay. Click on those little circles. Blanca, Ari. Um, help me out with this name, Kayland? 
I think Kaylin, yeah. yeah. Is Kaylin. that how you say Kaylin? it? Maybe Keelan? I think it's Keelan. <laughs> kind of decent looking though, that profile Thanks picture. for everyone who participated. Uh, that was an interesting experience. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's I mean, it was interesting the first time. Now you're, you've done more than one. You were past interesting. Who have I done this with? Um, Tiff and I did it with Cam. Mel, let's go. I did it with you. Um, I feel like I might have done it once before with somebody else. I don't know. But maybe not. Well, also. yeah, you had a win streak when we started. Really? Oh, well, yeah, because we beat Cam. Ah, nice, nice, nice. A win streak, one Thanks, single. Thanks, Jordan. <laughs> hey, they matter. Love you both. Thanks, Michael. Um, what are your thoughts on Cody? I love Cody. I met Cody before um, at the Traders reunion. I just happened to be in New York, and we got along really well then. I met his fiance there. She's such Thanks, a Michael. And then uh, when we got to hang out in uh, Reindeer Games, like he's a total sweetheart. He just had to go. <laughs> Oh, man. So I tell you my dog smells like the Labo Santal. <laughs> Why? So there's this um Thanks, Tiana. and dog perfume from was it Harlow Harry? Mm -hmm. Was it Bellevue 162? There's a whole article online about how people will buy the dog perfume and mm -hmm. they'll wear it on themselves because it's cheaper than the Labo, but it smells just like it. Interesting. I know. Hey, if it works, it works. I'm, I, 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 I had a, I was caught off guard by it, but as I thought about it, if it's, if it works, it works. Like, it works. I don't judge. It, I feel like a perfume is a perfume, and honestly, a dog perfume probably has less bad stuff in it than a human perfume. Oh wait, is that the one? Yeah, look at what's in it, and I'll try it. Yeah, D. Christie. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you wear a dog perfume. But Friends how would you know? Wear dog fragrances. I would know because I have it. If there's anyone that would be able to pick up the difference, it would be me. Wait, Mel, you wanna see this line? It's our golden line. Mel, you wanna get on the line, Mel? What? Come through tomorrow. <laughs> um. What were <laughs> But I am glad that you get to have a space on social media where you can actually like connect with people and talk about you know people in that have oh, yeah. like, autistic like Best. that's a really cool thing because I know it's a new experience for you. What then? Do you see? Do you see this? <laughs> What are you doing? I don't know. Why is he like this? <laughs> Mel in my chat wants you to know that she loves you. What's up, Irish? Hi, Mel. Mel's a Mel's an MVP over here. Like all oh, day. Oh, Mel, if you love me, you should join this chat. You should switch sides. Definitely. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> thanks, Mel. She said she couldn't hop over because she's loyal <laughs> over here, but she, you're a queen. She just wanted you to know that. Good for her. Um, you look so much like Taylor from Big Brother. You know, I get that a lot. <laughs> um, I know, right? She does kind of look like Taylor from yeah. Big Brother. Yeah. Maybe we, we should probably connect. We should do, like, content one day, you know? We'll see if she's into it. I heard she's really narcissistic and full of herself, so I don't know if she'll respond. But we'll see. Have you ever met her, Kylan? <laughs> what do you think yeah. about I think that Taylor from Big Brother is one of the more, I don't know, just a, a beautiful, amazing person. Aw, that was kind of Him good. being just like, just like everyone else and except she kind of glides when she walks, you know, so. What a bitch. <laughs> The gliding, it's just, ugh, she's got to chill with the it's gliding. Natasha. That was kind of a thing, you know. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, Ember Lily, did we lose you? Didn't you, weren't you just here a second ago? Didn't you? I saw you ask something and I don't see you. Um, thanks, Natasha.
Brown. Taylor, were you secretly I mean, an kid? I was born in 94. Secretly what? Taylor, were you secretly a 90s kid? Connor, um, I mean, I've only been in four, so. Not so fast is pretty so dope. I heard. Obviously, we all know that was in USA the one. Songs about, but I heard allegedly Tweet or Missy like they did a interview somewhat recently, and they were like, "That's not the song isn't about that." I don't believe that personally. But Wait, isn't about what? Oops! There goes my shirt up over my head. Oh my! <laughs> Love it on yourself. That's what everyone believes the song is about. There goes my shirt up over my head. Yeah, and people think off. that's about loving taking, you on yourself. Taking your shirt off and looking at yourself in the mirror and having a good time by yourself. Uh, Mel, Jordan's my my nie- my cousin. Betty, right? I don't believe that. And so, what are they saying it's about now? All I said was, you know, everyone thinks it's about that, but it's not. With no further explanation. <laughs> like, okay, girl. Okay, girl. <laughs> yeah, they, they have no further explanation. That's where, you know, I feel like that about the, uh, what's that song? Those the lyrics that I told you about that mixed up. Oh, 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 um, oh my God, I know it. You have a whole, no, you made a playlist about the song. You can find it. Well, I didn't make a playlist about the song. The song is on a playlist. Oh, no, I thought you had like a playlist. I thought you like clicked the song and were like, make playlist. Maybe, I don't know. Um, um, do, oh, yeah, uh, wait, what was it? What is it? Oh, I, know I just realized that you and Arthur. Wait, who's Kylan Turner? Never He'll never be Kylan like Turner. you. Yes, never, never be like you. Um, hi. Kylan, what is the most interesting thing about the challenge house that you did not expect? I'm saying hi, so you're not a traitor. Don't worry. Um, what's what? What did you say? I said, is Mel coming over here? Did Mel say oh, I'm no, no, no. Um, wait, kind of- what were we talking about? Oh, the songs. Yeah, I'll never be like you. She's like, oh, it was always he'll never be like you. And I was like, I don't know if I believe you. I feel like she just changed that answer. Mm-mm. Unless that answer came out the same year the song was made. But It was always he'll never be like you. Always. All right, whatever. Don't be I'm skeptical. Not the only person. You're never being the allegations. Um, <laughs> Just believe me, Dan. Thanks for the follow, Dana. Of course, I got you. Um, Did you have a question? Uh, no, what was the question? What was the most interesting thing about the challenge house that you did not expect? I assume they mean MTV. Um, hmm. Interesting thing that I did not expect. Uh, do you watch Jazzy Guns, the gamer YouTuber? I don't, but I'll I don't go. No, like what's something unexpected? Yeah, they were twin size beds, but I feel like I did expect that. Yeah, USA One wasn't even the house. We were in a Squid Games warehouse. It looked like a warehouse. Uh, it was an abandoned staples in the middle of Argentina ghetto. Um, like literally, it was an it was in Argentina team ghetto. Like that's literally what they told us it was. In an abandoned staples. Yes, like it was not abandoned, but it used to be a staples. Like the sign was worn off, basically, but you can still see it. And uh, yeah, it was a warehouse. I would never. Uh, most of it, Mel. But not everything. <laughs> but are you going crazy with it? What did I miss? I missed that one, Mel. I trust you. Um, no, so... Um, T, well, I gotta think about that. Hold on. Um, yeah, unexpected... Uh, An abandoned staples in the ghetto? That's what it was. They're like, yo, this is where we're taking you. I was like, what? Has anyone from Big Brother won? Oh, yeah. Casey. Yeah, two of the last three female winners have been from Big Brother. 
Yeah. Zero of them have oh. been from Survivor, just saying, but whatever, guys. <laughs> from the MTV one, but obviously Survivor is dominating USA, so that's why I had to say that. Wait, what do you mean two of the last female? Oh, Amber, Amber, duh, you know I love Amber. Two of the last female winners. Amber, Casey, and Tori. Tori. Oh, okay. I got it, I got it. You gotta forgive me, my brain, she's slowing down a little bit. Um... Checking. Uh, um, are you gonna come out and do that um that guy's podcast yes i am well when they tell me i guess um but yes I'm, I probably won't be living here at that point. <laughs> I definitely. Oh yeah, true. Oh wow. Yeah. 